find the inverse Fourier sine transform fs of alpha is equal to 1 by alpha into e raised to minus a alpha but a is greater than 0 positive now solution fs of sorry fs of alpha is given e to the power minus a alpha by alpha now see only change u to alpha that's all no difference only change the variable now fs of f of x fs of f of x is equal to integration of 0 to infinity f of x into sin alpha x only u to alpha change that's all with respect to x this is called a fs alpha now f of x is equal to 2 by pi integration of 0 to infinity fs of alpha into sin alpha x with respect to alpha inverse Fourier sine transform shortcut ok f of x is equal to 2 by pi integration of 0 to infinity fs of alpha is given e raised to minus a alpha by alpha into sin alpha x with respect to alpha x now this is equal to 2 by pi into pi of x this part is called a pi of x you see ok Say, phi of x is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus a alpha by alpha into sin alpha x with respect to alpha is not direct it is not a direct integrate the differentiate is not possible to direct integrate differentiation under the integral sign under integral sign only this part ok this part phi of x now differentiate you get phi dash of x is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus a alpha by alpha differentiate sign with respect to x is a cos alpha x into alpha with respect to alpha so alpha alpha cancel and this is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus a alpha into cos alpha x with respect to alpha so we know the standard formula using standard formula standard formula is integration of e raised to ax into cos bx with respect to x this is equal to e raised to ax by a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin bx this is standard formula using this standard formula f dash of x is equal to a means minus uh, sorry a means minus a e is to minus a alpha by minus a whole square plus x square into a a is a minus cos b means alpha alpha x plus and uh, ux alpha x means sin bx into uh, alpha means this part uh, with respect to alpha means x b means x sorry a means a and b means x limit is 0 to infinity now u is to 0 is equal to 1 cos 0 is equal to 1 and sin 0 is equal to 0 now f dash of x is equal to put upper limit e raised to infinity is a 0 minus lower limit put x is equal to 0 uh, sorry this is with respect to alpha means alpha is equal to 0 alpha is equal to infinity is 0 alpha is equal to 0 means e raised to 0 is 1 1 upon a square plus x square 
into into and alpha is equal to zero uh, this is a alpha means here it is alpha sorry sin zero zero cos zero zero one is zero minus alpha moment is zero minus zero is alpha yes again lower and upper limit applying the uh, applying and this is equal to f dash of x is equal to alpha upon alpha square plus x square now integrate both side you get integrate both side f dash of x is equal to alpha upon alpha square plus x square you integrate you get is uh, sorry this is a sorry this is a means uh, uh, it, no, it is no confusion uh, cos 0 is 1 minus a is remaining and the sine alpha is 0 0 first I write positive then after negative then I integrate both side f of phi of x is equal to this is a tan inverse is a tan inverse uh, x by yes x by a plus c now evaluate c what is c value evaluate c now put x is equal to 0 put x value is a 0 so phi of 0 equal to tan or inverse of 0 plus c therefore c is equal to 0 that means phi of x is equal to put c value in this equation tan inverse x by a okay now now see the this equation mm, recall this is equation number one f of x equal to 2 pi by 5 phi of x we get phi of x equation number one becomes equation number one becomes f of x is equal to 2 by pi into phi of x is tan inverse x by a this is a required solution